right, so here we are. As promised in the last video, my first, ooh, I better tighten that strap down. First of two Gorelli rebuilds I'm gonna be doing. Um, I don't know, this week, next week, we'll see how quickly this thing comes together. Uh, as you can see, I haven't touched this bike in a while. It's probably been about three years, maybe, maybe four. Um, this bike does run, runs very well, actually. This is like one of my first mopeds. This is in the first 10 mopeds I got. Uh, me and Chris Karsten uh, originally built this with a Polini and a uh, some kind of a VM18. It was off a dirt bike, I'm not quite sure. And it's been through about 10 pipes, and I finally came to one that I, I liked. But um, the last time I touched this bike, I was uh, <clears throat> changing up the top end and the carburetor. Uh, this has a real Molosi kit on it, not one of the uh, modified Moto Guzzi uh, Molosi kits with a four pedal Molosi Reebok, and I believe this is kind of a smaller PHBG. Um, it might be a 17 or a 15. Uh, but yeah, regular, you know, little thing, just to catch all the dust off the no fender life because that was what was cool when I was 23. Um, knock the tail light off at some point in its many travels between shops and shenanigans, but uh, I had it dialed in pretty good. This has got a, this has one of the, the few hammer clutches out there in it, so this has got like a real clutch. I think there are only 15 of those made ever, one of them's on here. Some uh, Tomos five stars on this bad boy off an A3. And as you can see, giant rear shocks. Gives it actually a decent ride. So uh, so yeah, what I'm gonna be doing, what I'm gonna be doing is, uh, oh fuck, knocking this bike over. 100% gonna knock this bike over. <clears throat> I'm going to be taking this motor off and breaking it down. Gonna do some new bearings and seals on this motor. Just give it a little refresh. This is running points. Um, probably gonna keep those for now. Might <coughs> might go to a pie card. Um, so the last Gorelli I rebuilt, I um, put a pie card on with Doug, and I believe I timed another pie card recently for someone who stopped by the shop. So maybe I'll do that after I clean this up uh, and get this mud dropped and get into this rebuild. So, the ground. take this chain off real quick got you old master link pliers here we're gonna drop this motor I was gonna take the top end and shit off but uh, I think I'm gonna leave that on and uh, just take that off when I <coughs> um, do, 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 when I rebuild the motor <laughs> so back to the next montage Dropped a bike off camera. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Had to go, go help him. Well, I was wondering how that brake cable off the tire. 
sure how it came off. <laughs> it's off. Just a 13 millimeter wrench on each side of this. Boom, boom. They run the ground from the coil all the way down. Coils up here, grounds on one of the uh, engines holding on bolty thingies. That's the professional name. Hope everyone knows that. This motor running for about 10 years. And some OG Zeros grime right there, baby. <laughs> All right, next up, I'm gonna go ahead to the engine rebuild table. See you there. All right, we're over here on the engine rebuild table. I got a blown out Corelli cranks in here, um, you know, to cheer me on. So let's get into this bad boy. Let's get these pedals off first. Do not use the wrong tools. Just get yourself a fucking a remover for, my brain is dead today. It was my birthday last night. I don't stand a fucking chance today. Um, Steve, what are the things called to hold the pedal arms on? Cotter pin. Cotter Get yourself a cotter pin remover. <laughs> don't fight these things. Yeah, I Told you, I'm, I'm, I'm not here. I sent Steve a rambling message at about 1 in the morning last night about how I'm going to rebuild a Gorelli today, so I'm just fulfilling promises. I thought it was pretty poetic. And I liked it. Look at that. Fucking butter. No fight. Just nice and easy. I'm still gonna have to use a punch on that. Boy, was that easier than hitting it with a hammer. Well, I've officially jinxed myself.
easier. Use the right tool. I can jinx myself. These cotter friends are probably older than me. <laughs> Where's Doug at? We had the same thing, man. I, I had to cut one of these pedal cranks off of his bike the other <laughs> last week. They're not scheming against me, I, I swear. Okay, I got the pedal cranks off. Let's get this top end off, huh? Get some 11s on there. Not 11s. They're M7s, so I need an 11 millimeter wrench. Socket, see? Not today. first. No stud. No stud, baby. Yeah. Here comes a little fun part. I'll show you when this head comes off. It's something to pay attention to on Gorelli's. Um, <clears throat> I have a new gasket set, but you know, you can just take your head off. I think I might have had the original head gasket on here still. Yeah. Dumbass. I must not have had the right one. Um, <laughs> as you can see, there's the Kalini head gasket, and that's the fucking 50cc gasket was still in there. Boom. You're not gonna use the no, no, no. Do, do the zip tie tricks. I am. You don't put any air in it. This one for a little tiny bit. You don't put any air. Just a little tiny bit. Just a little tiny bit. Just the littlest tiny bit. Steve likes doing things wrong, so he can. It's not wrong. So he can bother me, and then later when he goes, I can't figure it out, and I go, Did you do the thing I did from the very beginning? Told you to do. No, that can't be it. You don't know everything. It's always it. Yeah, no. What happened with those bulbs that you fucked with your wiring for an hour and never checked to see if the bulbs were blown? You hear the story about the blind horse. He can find his way to water six out of seven days. I don't think that's how that's, that old that's fable goes. goes. It, what I'm saying is that horse was wrong one of those days. I'm just saying. <laughs> Am I the blind horse? How's this sport work? <laughs> Look like at that. Cylinder looks brand new. Come on out, sweetheart. Show yourself to Dr. Andy.
and the head gasket is wearing at my. I'm like, I'm not that dumb, am I? What the fuck was I doing? It was only four years ago. But it's a Gorelli head, so I probably stripped out the spark plug on three of them. So maybe that was some desperate spacing attempt. Good looking rings, no air leaks. Truth be told, I didn't run this bike much. I probably tuned it and uh, <clears throat> rode it on a couple rides and then probably haven't really fucked with it since then. Oh, man, these points are clean. All right, I think this might be a 11 or 12, as we were just bullshitting about earlier. If you were here for Steve and I yelling at each other about Japanese bikes. Why is this not legal? I don't know what this is. 10. Apparently, the Italians also favored the uh, 12 for the clutch nut. Clutch. Jesus. Flywheel. Let's see if I grab the right puller. If, if I remember properly, these, uh, yes, use the same puller as a V1. Doug and I rebuilt his motor about a month ago now. <laughs> Cue Jared telling you guys I have no sense of time. It'll take five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, he hit some coils at some point, that boy. Woodruff key on there, looking good, looking good. Flatheads has apparently gone away. Mm. Here's a pitch for quality. I don't think these points have ever been off this mother. Mm. Well, yeah, but what's going on? What? Are you eating? Sure. Damn, those seals look fucking fresh. Look how dirty that motor is and how clean that shit is. <sighs> Let's give these cases a good clean up real quick here.
Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was pretty. It was pretty good. I'm just hoping I didn't fling anything on the camera. I think we got some royal purple up too. Um, yeah, I'm using the heavy duty shit. <laughs> and I got two. Um, I got two other rubber girly clutches. That, you know. This has got a hammer in it. Oh, it's that one. Yeah, this is the one. I wasn't sure which one I was going to rebuild first, and this one happened to be upstairs. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to switch those springs this winter, too. Oh, yeah. Steve's running one of the Jammer clutches um, for Grilly, and I think Andy Thompson did a fantastic job on it. It was very cool. Uh, but Treats isn't really selling them because... Uh, oh, my God, is that welded on? Well, they require a little bit of work, which I don't... It's a moped, right? Like, yeah, be... I mean, it wasn't that much work. People but... want people want bolt and go, which you know, I mean, that's cool, I guess. But like, I mean, that's definitely handy. Don't get me wrong, but it's a fucking forty-year-old bike. Like, <laughs> be prepared to put a wrench or something, in my opinion. So, I think he's reworking the design a little bit. But whatever he does, it'll be cool because Andy's an awesome dude, and building us nice performance parts for forty-year-old bikes. Yeah. That's pretty rad, I think. And right now the springs I have in there, it revs to like 10,000 RPM before it takes off. <laughs> yeah. So it, it just, it, it's, it it's, needed it's, to engage a little sooner. The slippage little, is little good. Quicker. A little quicker. <laughs> a little quicker. Stand back. Oh god, I think I got you there. Sorry, buddy. No, no, now you got me. All right, back again. Some people like these cases fucking spotless. I'm not that picky. I just don't want any grime. We got mating surfaces. Cause uh, yeah, that'll fuck you up. Won't seal properly. Get you a cute little air leak. Hey, what's going on? I'm rebuilding the Gorelli. Nice, I'm just grabbing my Moby for my friend's house. Let's get this uh, tranny fluid out before we bust this clutch. Open. My tool's gross. Clean. Okay. I think we're going to go right to the old impact on this. No reason to fuck these bolts up. Goosey.
was clutch last time I did this. I got fresh caskets for everything, so. This shit can all go. All right, here's the moment y'all been waiting for. Ooh, yellow springs. Thought it might have been dumb, put reds in there. Look at that baby. That thing is fucking sick. The jammer, or the, uh, sorry, hammer clutch uses more of the stock parts where the jammer replaces everything. Um, I, I mean, I don't know which design is better. I'm sure that the hammer clutch is a better clutch because, you know, it's, uh, cost more? <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't quite as mass produced. Uh, these were, these were pretty, pretty pricey in the day. And they are really fucking cool. Yes, Steve. <laughs> oh, this thing's fucking cool. So cool. Uh, just, just good stuff, man. I wish Walt would make these again. Like, I'm so lucky to have one. Like, I, I am so stoked to, to own this, but I'd love other people to be able to uh, enjoy them. These Gorellis don't get enough love, and they deserve a lot of it. I don't know if that's supposed to be attached or not. I don't think so. I'll find an old picture. I mean, it goes running, so it's probably fine.
Yeah, you did a great job. Moral support. Oh, I got it. See? Couldn't have done it without you. As far as you use those shitty ones. I don't mind those. These are so beautiful. Well, there's somebody put things back on. Check that jammer out, dude. So sick. I need to put this in place for a punch. What did somebody do with this? main gear off. Always fun. It's probably been on there for 40 something years. It's just press fit. Mm-hmm. Just the question of which one. <laughs> Gorelli, the guy, this is an Italian company that made yeah. this. They don't, there's no specialty tools. Their whole theory was that you should be able to take this apart with like hand tools you can put around <laughs> in the garage. It's pretty cool. But sometimes you run into things like this, where that fucker is, you know. If I just had like a rig, like a fitting for a puller, it'd be much easier. Oh shit! But just like that. Just like that. Wow. Press fit on there. Forty years of torque. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Have a good one, Dennis. Please see you. See you, Dennis. And we're back. All right, so with that main gear out, I'm gonna leave the sprocket on. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave the sprocket on. Ready to pop these nuts off and get this case split. Right, this should be easy. fucking around trying to strip any of these things and right to the proper tool. Treats is supposed to come out with a um, race crank for these pretty soon. But obviously I'm not waiting for that. <laughs> Stock cranks are pretty good. So. And uh, this one seems like it's fine. Cross your fingers. Say it was running, and that doesn't mean it was okay. But. Okay. And now we bake. Probably should have had the oven pretty here. Oh! Start on new tires. Cleaned out of this thing so when I throw it in there, it doesn't burst into flames. Um, yeah, that's it for now. We'll, uh, show me throwing this bad boy in the oven like a hot turkey here in a moment. All right, guys, see you in a bit. Oh, 
Okay, so what you want to do is you preheat the oven to 250 degrees. And you take your fine Italian motor, you pop it in the oven. And I get yelled at on YouTube for my bad Italian accent. Hey, where did the tray go? Oh fuck, it's in the powder coating oven. <laughs> Wait here. <laughs> Probably should have made sure this was in the oven before preheating the oven. Don't feel like butt crack. Also preheated the oven to 250 degrees. That's not hot enough to really do any damage or hopefully catch anything on fire. But it'll allow these cases to get nice and warm, and then when I'm ready to split them, they'll just kind of come apart like butter. Particularly because I'm trying to save the stock crank, I don't want to beat on anything. So Let's just set ourselves a little timer for 20 minutes. That's 20 seconds. How do you stop the timer? You wait 13 more seconds and then make a new timer. <laughs> nope. Oh, 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 fucking Jesus Christ. Fifteen minutes. That's probably not going to be enough time, but we're going to go with fifteen minutes to start and uh, see how she does. In the meantime, I'm going to go order some Chipotle. <clears throat> All right, so you to get your gloves. This motor is going to be about two hundred and fifty degrees. It's been it's been about thirty minutes or so. Ordering Chipotle took longer than anticipated. So. I'm just gonna turn the oven off. Grab our freshly baked motor. Oh yeah, it's about draining fluid all over the oven. And we're gonna go back to the engine rebuild table. And don't spill hot oil on your feet because you're wearing sandals. <laughs> Here, see if these cases split nice and easy. The one thing I did for, realize I forgot to do was remove the Woodruff key, so we don't want to damage that. So I'm just gonna. Of course, that's really in there. Where'd it go? There it is. Precious baby. Set that down for a sec, Steve. And uh, could you gently tap on that, please? Here? Mm hmm. There you go. Give it a real hit. Use a real hammer. Sometimes getting these things through can suck. Okay, go ready? Ahead. Yep. Thank you. It's a butter. <laughs> Steve's gonna get in trouble for his no, bad Italian accent too. It too yeah. Sorry, internet, we're insensitive. I hate the pedal shafts. I don't know why they're so. They're like seriously the tightest thing on a Corelli. Oh my god, look at that. Got all that fucking oil in there. Ooh. Yeah. All right. So, uh, <laughs> let that cool down. I'll take it out before it cools down. Boom. We have split our engine and we're going to keep our good crank separate from our bad crank that we talked about earlier. Um, so I'm not going to replace the, uh, the bearings inside the case cause they're usually bathed in oil when they're fine. I'm going to replace the seals. Um, but 
the uh, main bearings here I'm going to replace and do all new seals on the entire motor. So that's that. I'll uh, reposition you and uh, we'll be moving forward. Still at it here, just putting some fresh seals in. All ready to go there. Set that off to the side. Our burritos are en route. fancy uh, seal tool. It's definitely not an old maxi kickstand. Okay. I'm trying to remember how all this goes back together. case gasket and a crank but uh, we're moving right along still warm I go press this in with the device I'm just gonna uh, seal this case up real quick. Sure, sure. Um, since, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> get <laughs> Steve's seducing me with burritos and song. Fresh case gasket. Always oil these up, just doing a little test fitty. Looks good. Second, I'm about out of oil.
getting a preview of Steve's uh, multi Christmas song back there. Scans is not perfect, but it's not bad. It's all nice and lined up, thanks to my little pins. Pins, they're all matches, but you get the point. Boom! That's an assembled Gorelli motor. I'm gonna take the sprocket off and replace this um, gasket. Okay, I'll get to that. Fucking eating time, yo. <clears throat> oh, fucking buttery. Get this thing put back together, and uh, then I'll reassemble the transmission. And uh, yeah, I think this thing's gonna fire up today. Pretty excited. So, catch you in a few. Okay, we're back in action. Chipotle is in the belly. Cases are together. We're gonna slap this, uh, slap these parts back in it that hold it together, the bolts, good lord. Now, uh, don't forget about this little guy. So we'll start with him. God, I'm dying, okay. Um, so for those of you unfamiliar with Gorelli's, the reason these are on here is because the uh, mounting points are all rubber. So this allows the motor to uh, ground itself to the frame. So like you don't fry your points or whatever because the cases essentially are just floating in space. <coughs> Unconnected to the ground. Ground, you know, like the literal ground. And uh, yeah, that will, that will uh, cause you some issues. So make sure you leave this little guy on your case. And, uh, yeah, throw everything back together, right where it came from. Now you can tell which, which bolts were in the case and which ones weren't, um, pretty easily. Oh, oh, oh you little woodruff key, don't lose yourself. Um, you know, because of the, the heads that are super clean, came from the inside of the case. And, uh, the other ones were external. <coughs> I was, uh, <clears throat> you know, kind of like crisscross, crisscross applesauce, kids, um, as I'm putting these down so it works evenly on the case. There's obviously, like, <clears throat> you could use a tool and keep your foot pounds consistent and stuff like that, but look, <laughs> these cases are 40 fucking years old, um, 
so let's get real about their integrity. You know, <laughs> with their in spec. Just don't, don't stress out about it, it's a fucking moped. Here. Don't be shy about that one. They're just pressed on, so those can come loose. Back off, so I really like to give that one the business. <sighs> okay, it is <clears throat> time to assemble our hammer clutch. So we go grab that. Spin, spin. All right, clutch. <clears throat> I don't know if this is the same exact assembly for a stock clutch because I haven't done one in a little bit. But washer. Clutch pal. Circle up. No play in that clutch. None. Okay, now it's jammer time. Hammer. This is a hammer, not a jammer. Got a little plate there. Put that on the splines. Push that down. We got a washer. Nut. That's also a 17, right? Always get everything started before you. Shine that boy either. Spring. Plates. Look at that. Make sure these are all in there properly. Oh, 
clutch gasket. Come on, baby. Remember, always oil your gaskets. Get a little test fit first. We gotta go uh, get some royal purple. Almost out, so I'm just gonna dump that in the trans. Use that up so I can throw that out. Tell which side is which. There's a teeny tiny little bump. It goes by your pedal shaft. Get our clutch cover. Line that baby up. I could kiss all these with an impact wrench, impact driver, but uh, I'm a gorilla. Get our salt trans bolt here, or all that lovely uh, royal purple I put in there will come right out. I need a 17. boys and girls. I'm just saying this right back to the same timing I had it at. Um, prior. Hey. Sorry, I'm recording and Steve's pooping, so I'm not just talking to myself. Jiffy key here, Steve would be proud of me. Boom. Looking good. together. Let's get this old gasket off. Normally I would not recommend this, but this knife is so dull it can't hurt anything. Um, so we're going to hit this with some gasket remover. An 
actual sharp knife could gouge into the metal, uh, but this thing is so dull it's pathetic. I haven't sharpened this in the five years I've owned it, so I'm really stressed out about it. I should have done this while the cases were apart, so I'm just doing my best not to get any in the case. Then I know someone's commenting, ah, you should have cleaned that shit up before. In the right, I just don't care. Good enough. Spinning gas I've ever seen, not the worst. Line them rings up. Right in there. Gotta let you make your mistakes. Insert clip in. Also, never ever reuse their clips. And my set clip. Yeah. You're lucky you never blew a tire up in your face. Gorelli kits yeah. are made to use a stock head. Um, don't forget your head gasket. I'm gonna go grab one. I've got it on the. Oh my god, there's one in here. No, it's not. Cool. We'll grab one off uh, off the uh, the shelf over there, and then this motor will be ready to put on the bike. Where where did I put the stock head gasket? I'm not reusing it. I just want to. Remind myself of something. I guess I don't fucking know. I'm gonna go get the new one. See how that fits in there? If you run these without a head gasket, like to try and get more compression, 
they will not run. You'll hear the air just fucking rushing out. It's kind of like lock it in. I don't know if, if the casting is poor or what, but. I'm gonna get some new bolts to hold this on. These are M7s, by the way. Alright. Oh, Assembled motor. Uh, I fucked up. And I was putting the. Um, the pedal shaft uh, thing in, I <laughs> there's a little slot and it fell out when I took the motor out and I should have just looked at a fucking diagram but I couldn't remember. Uh, the, there's a little little clip in there and it doesn't go in the retaining spot. So I will no longer have functioning pedals on this bike which will make Brian very happy. By happy, this would be the opposite of happy. That was sarcasm. No pedals, no fun. All right, yeah, there we go. Motor built. Time to get this back on the frame and decide on a pipe. Because I have a couple of Grelly pipes. And then fire this thing up. Okay, so we're back. Uh, motor ready to go on the bike. So I'm going to do that quick montage, putting it back on. I don't think anyone needs instructions on how to connect the three engine bolts. Um, but I will run over the wiring on uh, hard wiring and I wired this thing 10 years ago now so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of guessing but one of these is power the lights probably and one's oh fuck me I gotta look at this thing um, I'm gonna have to figure out what those wires are but that's not a big deal because it was hardwired before so I'm gonna slap the motor on then I'm gonna decide on a pipe uh, put some gasoline in this thing and start it. And then this will probably that'll probably be at 69 degrees in here. Nice. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm an adult. Uh, that'll probably be all I do today. It is a shop Wednesday. I've been here all day. Not all day because I went to work today, of course. But you know, I go to work. Um, I'm gonna do new tires, tubes, and read do some of the cabling, uh, and then declare this bike done. So I'll finish this bike up on Sunday. So, uh, all right, let's fucking do it. Bottle of royal purple. All right, 
See you in a minute. I, just, I accidentally pulled the trigger. I'm basically out cold than myself. Come on, put that on the internet. All right, we got oh, Sparky. Shit. I'm gonna go see if this thing starts. Several Agadaga short of tight. Because it's uh, the jetting is fat, like uh, oh, yeah. like it was on a 30-year-old motor that had old seals. Um, so yeah, I'll be retuning this, and tomorrow it's gonna get all not tomorrow Sunday. It's gonna get all new tires and uh, cables, and I'll hook up the lights and whatnot. So till then. Whew. Hopefully you can.